One of the beautiful things about our battery chargers is that they can charge battery packs as high as 144 volts. There is not much that needs to be done on the user's end to be able to do this. The chargers are already set up to do this and will automatically switch voltage to do any battery pack between 12 and 144 volts. If charging on a 220 or 240 volt outlet, our battery chargers can do as much, uh, start any battery pack from 100, excuse me, from 36 up to 240 volt battery packs. Please make sure, though, on a 220 line, your battery pack has sufficient capacity, as charging on a 220, a 240 volt line will greatly, greatly increase the amount of amperage going into the battery pack. And if the battery pack is too small of amp hour capacity, you can boil and permanently damage your battery pack, which is why we do recommend staying with a 110 or 120 volt outlet. To charge a higher than 12 volt battery, or otherwise known as batteries that are in a series, we will demonstrate that now. I'll start by disconnecting the 12 volt battery that we were charging. Disconnect the battery, shut off your charger first if it is not already off, unplug it, a little hard to do with one hand, I'm sorry. then disconnect the leads. Once again, due to the no spark nature of our systems, you can disconnect in either order. Although I do personally like having a habit of doing red first for disconnection. Excuse me, black first, even though I just showed you the opposite direction. Now that the charger is currently disconnected, I move it up to our larger battery pack. Here I have a small electric rail tram designed for a backyard railway. This tram runs on two 12 volt batteries equaling 24 volts. The same principle is applied to any other voltage battery pack or battery that are in the series. So if you have an electric car, let's say runs at uh, 72, 120, 144 volts, um, pretty much you just got a connector up and off you go. You need the batteries in the series. For more sensitive electronics, I do recommend disconnecting them from the vehicle or device itself. Most cars you will not have a problem with, although with high-end sports cars, do usually have much more sensitive electronics, I would say disconnect your battery. Now, in order to have this, these two 12-volt batteries equal 24 volts, they are connected by a series, in a series by a jumper wire. As you can see, positive on this battery is connected to the negative port on this battery. That would then mean this, from this positive terminal to this negative terminal will read 24 volts. Or in actuality, it would read about 26, 26 volts as a fully charged 12 volt battery reads approximately 12.8 to 13.2 volts. So just like charging a 12 volt battery now, you would then take a negative lead, connect it to the negative, negative end of the battery pack. And remember we're going from positive on that battery to negative on this battery, thus making this battery's positive the positive for the pack. A pack of batteries consists of multiple batteries connected in a series or in parallel. Our chargers can do either. Now that they're connected up, you can either turn on your voltage meter. Now, I broke my own rules. Usually you'd select the correct voltage reading before connecting them up to the batteries. In this case, I did it the other way around. Usually will not damage anything if it's just a little bit over. In this case, I did not damage anything. And just like we did on the 12 volt battery, now that the charger is connected, we're going to plug in plug in our power cord. And select the charging time. 
Once again, I'm going to select two hours. Doing in this manner, you can charge up multiple batteries at the same time without having to do individual. With normal battery chargers, such as a standard off-the-shelf automotive battery charger, you must charge a battery at a maximum of 12 volts. So I'd have to charge each one of these separately. Honest, if I use the same charger, that would take very long time as when one's finished then I could move that charger over to the next one. In this case we can do multiple batteries at one time. The more batteries you add can increase charging time though it will still be much quicker than using a single individual battery charger. For disconnection once again all you would do is shut the charger off, unplug it, and then disconnect the leads. And then if so desired, connect it back up to the vehicle or device in which you are using.